Hi, today we're going to be discussing the brand new portable ultrasound from Konica Minolta, the MX1. I'm Jeff with Complete Medical Services, your leading provider of diagnostic imaging equipment and providing full turnkey solutions for the health and wellness practice, the cash-based practice in regenerative medicine and overall health and wellness. Again, today we're going to be discussing the Konica Minolta MX1. If you go back and look at my uh, previous video on Konica Minolta, the uh, HS1, the MX1 and the HS1 are very similar um, in many ways and different in others. One, you'll see the smaller size of the MX1, but the smaller size doesn't take away from image quality. In fact, the image quality of the MX1 and the HS1 are very comparable. In fact, they also share a uh, the transducer, so the transducer connector uh, for the MX1 and the HS1 are identical. Uh, the primary difference here with the MX1 is that the MX1 uses the L14-4 and the L11 only. Uh, the HS1 also has the 18 megahertz linear transducer. Uh, the uh, MX1 does not use the 18 megahertz or the hockey stick. So with a smaller size, there are some sacrifices. So the transducers being one of them. However, the L14 is a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, transducer. The primary space of the MX1 and the HS1 is really geared up for MSK, ortho, sports medicine, pain management, regenerative medicine. Um, it works extremely, extremely well in that space. But Konica Minolta themselves are also investing heavily in education and training and trade shows and the overall technology of their product to be the best performer in the MSK space. Now, with the L14-4 transducer, um, it, it actually, this is really a preferred transducer with many of our providers, uh, mainly because the L14 has a wider beam. So although the L18 has more, uh, has a, a you know, higher frequency, which is great for superficial use, if your focus is primarily going to be on digits, on the extremity, if you're doing mostly rheumatology, you may want the L18. For overall body use, uh, the L14 is going to provide you with a very, very good option. Um, again, it also has a wider beam. So the L18 has a narrower beam. The L14 has a wider beam. With a wider beam, you have more view. Um, and also when you're coming in with an approach of a needle, you're going to be able to uh, connect the needle with the beam a lot easier. When you have a narrow beam, it's a little bit more difficult to approach into the beam. Um, and we found that most of our providers, especially if you're new to using ultrasound, having a wider beam is better. Um, but just because it's a 14 megahertz uh, a transducer, which is still extremely uh, high in terms of the overall, most uh, portable ultrasounds are still using a 12 megahertz, um, but with a 14, you're still getting very good superficial penetration as well as deep structure penetration. So our preference is the L14 over the L18, whether you're using the HS1 or the MX1. One of the other features that the MX1 does not have that the HS1 does have is a trackball. So they went with a smaller size. Now, when you're in the MSK ortho space, not having a trackball is okay. Really limiting the buttons. A lot of the feedback that was received uh, uh, just in general over portable ultrasounds when it's in the MSK ortho space is that there's a lot of confusion with all the different buttons and most of the buttons aren't used in the MSK space. So what Konica Minolta did here was really simplify the workflow, whether it's uh, for the uh, touchscreen environment or the, the buttons, you have your freeze button here, you have a user set button here that you can use for still images, you can set your video, uh, video scene loops over here on the touch button, you have your gain and your zoom knob, so you have some functionality with buttons here, F1, F2, F3, F4, so you have all user defined buttons plus knobs. Um, so overall the workflow is very, very easy, very intuitive. Um, incidentally, if you want a trackball, um, there's two USB ports here on the side. You can take a standard mouse, wireless mouse that you get on Amazon, or a trackball. There's some that have a large trackball um, that you, you see a lot that's used in uh, design work um, that you can use similar to the trackball on an ultrasound. Um, you put in the, the uh, USB dongle and boom, you have a a mouse or a trackball and incidentally a wireless keyboard. So 
although you might be losing the trackball you know when you go with the MX1 you can still add it with the USB port now um, obviously with the uh, MX1 it's going to be uh, smaller so it's more compact 12.1 inch IPS LED monitor the IPS is in plane switching meaning that you have optimal views no matter what angle you're looking at it and it's also easier on the eyes now with the HS1 you have a 15 inch monitor um, it also is a swivel monitor which is really nice so depending on the environment that you're in uh, the procedures that you're doing you may have a preference one over the other um, the MX1 is on a kickstand so you can stand it up on a desk you can stand it on, up on the patient bed next to them while you're doing scanning you have some preference it has a handle which makes it easy to carry around um, so there are some nice features of the MX1 um, price being one of them but again the MX1 has many of the more advanced features like elastography, the 18 megahertz transducer, the hockey stick transducer. Um, so what you win on size, you lose on some of the advanced features. Now, uh, what the MX1 and the HS1 do share, let me look at some notes, um, enhanced signal penetration, increased color flow sensitivity, improved resolution over other ultrasounds out there, very detailed tissue differentiation. This is a significant feature of conical Minolta, detecting structures down to several hundred microns, and that is very important. So when we're looking at, at the tendons and looking at the individual fibers of the tendon and the sheath of the tendon, um, it, it really makes a big difference. So again, 14 megahertz transducer, 12.1 inch high resolution monitor with IPS. It's under 10 pounds, so it's super lightweight to cart around. Um, I mentioned the intuitive workflow, um, simplified console with limited keys, uh, customize. Now this is important because you can customize the touchscreen workflow to what your specific use and utility will be putting. Uh, individual soft keys or removing them again based on what your needs are. Um, so the MX1 like the HS1 before it also comes with a five-year warranty. Now some of the key features that Konica Minolta offer um, outside of anything out there um, and I'm going to highlight one of the key features which is needle visualization. Now uh, many ultrasounds have needle visualization many ultrasounds mention that they have it but it actually doesn't work um, and you'll run into that when you actually try to use the needle visualization it might do its angling um, but it really doesn't uh, do anything uh, when you when you hit the button for needle visualization now uh, with the Konica Minolta needle visualization actually highlights the tip of the needle in blue so whether you're coming into a deep structure or superficial um, you are going to be able to see the needle because the tip of the needle is going to be highlighted in blue which is a very very nice feature so when you actually use the ultrasound um, you'll you'll identify that that's important uh, many times when an ultrasound when you're coming in deeper structure you can't see the needle at all and so you're just guessing that you're approaching in a certain area you go to deliver the medicine or the biologic and you might not even be delivering accurately uh, even though you're using ultrasound so that's a unique feature with Conic Minolta now uh, their needle visualization does use an advanced algorithm with both in-plane and out-of-plane methods to improve needle visibility especially when you're coming in at a steeper approach or a steeper angle now Conic Minolta actually added the rheumatology package to the MX1 which I was a little bit surprised that they would put it on here since they took off the elastography but that's an amazing feature having the rheumatology package so if you uh, look at the rheumatology package it actually puts up the hand an individual hand with thumbnails um, in every uh, location where you need to scan plus it shows you the workflow of rheumatology that you go through that is customizable as well to what your needs are now Konica Minolta is also heavily uh, focused on continuing education uh, continuing education through remote assist so yeah, if you ever have an issue with the system whether it's a setting a customization questions on uh, on how you uh, how you're tuning the system up whatever it might be um, through remote assist the Konica Minolta technicians can log into your system work with you see what you're seeing and help you walk through and, and set up your system the way you want it with whichever presets you want whatever workflow you want however you want to customize 
your system. Now, again, uh, to, to go back and really to summarize uh, the space for the MX1, the MX1 is perfect uh, for the ortho market, the MSK market, sports medicine, regenerative medicine. Um, if you don't mind the smaller monitor size, the 12.1 inch monitor, the lack of the trackball, no elastography, using a 14 megahertz transducer, I don't see any of those as a negative. However, uh, it really comes down to user preference as well as the workflow or the needs of the practice. So we have many offices that are using elastography, and in that case, then the ideal solution is going to be uh, the MX1, the or the HS1. The MX1 was just released. There, this is really uh, the first uh, demo unit that was available uh, for us to look at and analyze. And I had our sonographer go through it in detail using the system. Uh, one of the one of the feedback comments that we got was that it didn't have a trackball. So again, not having a trackball when you're doing measurements, especially tightly placed measurements, uh, distance wise, it's important to have the trackball. That's something that um, every sonographer has always asked us about is having that trackball. Our again, our backup solution on that is having a mouse or external trackball that you can add. Um, so that's it. Um, that's what I really wanted to cover today. Um, again, the, this is the Konica Minolta MX1. Uh, for the MSK space. Um, if you like today's video, you enjoyed today's video, please give a thumbs up. Uh, you can comment below, ask any questions. Uh, if you have any comments, feedback, whatever it might be, put that below. I'll respond back immediately. Um, and if you want to see additional videos that we are putting out and we're getting ready to roll out some MSK related videos as well as some vascular related videos, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel that's below hit that red button below um, next to the subscribe button is a bell if you click the bell that will actually notify you every time we upload a brand new video um, with that definitely look forward to seeing you back on ultrasound reviews this is Jeff Rubinoff with complete medical services and we'll see you next time